and welcome to a tech series entitled Good Design is Good Business. My name is Roger Snook. I'm the Worldwide Technical Enablement Leader at IBM Rational, and you can find me at any one of those sites listed down below. This first brief video contains a five-minute demonstration of collaborative design management with Rational Software Architect Design Manager. Before we turn it over to Don Yancey, our product line manager for the demonstration on faster design reviews, let's first tell you why you should be interested in this topic. In our short deadlines on projects these days, it's a fact of life that teams need to collaborate on their designs to avoid rework later. However, design reviews are often very time consuming because the stakeholders and reviewers don't always have direct access to the actual designs, nor can they easily communicate feedback in an organized way. Collaborative design management with Rational Software Architect Design Manager is a capability that speeds up reviews by automating some of the tedious tasks it takes to share out your designs and get stakeholder participation. Stakeholders don't even have to have RSA to be able to review and comment. They just need a web browser. Reviews are tasks like any other in a project, so why not link those activities to work items so that you can ensure your whole team is participating in a good design. The questions you should ask yourselves are, how do you share your designs for review today? How long does it take you to produce those review products, whether they're reports, custom tools that you're using, or web pages or emails? How do you ensure your review tasks get completed? And how are suggestions, comments, fixes communicated back to you? Are typically through email or documents. So our demonstration scenario today for collaborative design management will follow these steps. First, our designer goes ahead and models a, our system, delivers it to the source code management repository. Models are continuously published to design manager. And then step three, reviewer logs on to the web, examines the current model. Step four, the reviewer adds comments for the designer to consider. And step five, the designer reviews the comments and, if necessary, modifies the models and resolves the comments. So let's begin our demonstration. I've got an RSA project here called Modernization Models. And inside of that, I got a bunch of sketches, and we can open up you know, one of these, and you can take a look. It's, this is using the RSA sketching capability, so not a full, you know, full-blown UML diagram by any means, but a rough architecture diagram of how the, an application modernized, in this case with hats, web services, would fit together in the various pieces. So I've created these in my RSA. Now, here's where Design Manager fits in. What I want to do is I want, I've created these, but I'm working on a team of people that aren't designers. Some of them are developers. Some of them are ID people, and they all need to be able to look at these and, and comment on them and collaborate with me on these. And that's the design management piece here. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to Design Manager. And I've logged in here through the, the web client. So now after I had created those in RSA, what I had done was I had requested an import, and it imported those models into the design management server. I'm not going to show you that in the demo. It's not all that interesting. So. Uh, the de suffice to say, the, the models are already up here on the design management server. Over on the left-hand side is my navigation, and I can see the, the various projects. And you'll note these projects are the same projects that I had in my RSA workbench. Uh, and I can expand the modernization models here, and you'll see those same ones. But now what I can do, and this is anybody, so I don't have to have RSA installed to be coming in through the web client. Any, this is the, you know, any stakeholder can come in here, and they could look at one of these models. So I could double-click on refactoring, and it's going to open it up here right inside of the web client, and anybody can now look at this. So I've got all of the, the viewing capability in the browser. So let me scale this down a little bit. You can see a little bit more, and I can navigate. There's a little box here at the bottom, so you can see that. Uh, I can get access to all of the properties. I'm looking at the refactoring diagram, and what you'll see over here on the right-hand side is I've got a commenting area. So now all of the people that I had added to that review would have gotten notified they're part of a review. 
they would come in and they would look at the diagram and then they could start to add comments. So they could say, um, need to specify protocol. And as part of that, they want to say what part of the diagram. So you can draw some markups on the diagram and save that. So now I've added a comment, I need to add a protocol, and I've circled the part on the diagram where that person thinks it should be. Now okay. the... Does the circle show up down in um, uh, Eclipse? I'm sorry. That's exactly what I was going to right now. Yep. So everybody's gone through. They've done the reviews. They've marked them as completed um, and with comments. And now as the, the architect here, what I want to do is I want to come in here and open up that sketch. And I'm inside of RSA now. I've opened up the one from the local here, and I'm looking at that diagram. But over on the left, and I shall pull it up here maybe so we can see it a little bit better, there's a comments view now. And this is a design manager view that's been added to RSA, and it's showing me that there was a comment added on, on the server. Um, and the drawing, if I click on that, it'll add the drawing right on top of the diagram right here. So the title, I shouldn't, I didn't add any text. The title of the comment was need to specify protocol. I could have put more details in the description, which I didn't. But then it shows there was an attachment, and I could show it right now inside of RSA. So now what I would do is go in, fix that, and, you know, the iteration continues, republish it, and maybe do a review again if necessary. Commenting capability is not a, you know, so it's not an editor for the, the underlying sketch or the underlying model. Um, you can You can draw... It's a drawing tool on top of that, really. Yeah. So if we were to add another comment here, you know, here's my capabilities. I can draw boxes. I can draw lines. But they're just markup on top of the design. They're not actually being added to the design itself. That still, in 3.0, that still needs to be done through RSA and Rhapsody, the actual ongoing modifications to the designs. It almost looks like, Don, a, a layer within the RSA interface, uh, the Eclipse interface. Um, yeah, you could think of it as a layer on top, sure.